is for me and I can't react and games that never amount to more than they're meant will play themselves out Take this sinking boat and point it home. We've still got time. Raise your hopeful voice. You have a choice. You made it now. For Slowly, eyes that know me, and I can't go back. Moods that shake me and erase me, and I am painted black. Will you have suffered enough and what with you? It's time that you won Take this sinking boat And point it home We've still got time Raise your hopeful voice You have a choice You've made it now Fall and slowly sing your melody I'll sing a That's it, they've got it. Hi guys, in this lesson we're checking out how to play Falling Slowly from the movie Once. Um, it's also a Broadway production now and we're focusing on this because it's a fantastic acoustic guitar um, open strings riff using a simple melody and one picking pattern that kind of carries on throughout. So um, if you've never gone for kind of a single note melody and this is one of your first ones, this is absolutely fine. It's in the key of C. The notes you're playing are from the C major scale, starting on the note C. So it's nice to be aware of that kind of context. But it's a beautiful song and definitely check out how to play it and definitely listen to the song so that you know how it goes. Please subscribe if you do like this lesson. Let's get in for a close up and show you guys how to play it. And the melody has four notes only. One, two, three, four. One is the first fret on the B string with your first finger. Third finger ideally at third fret of the same B string. So one, two, open E. And then we come back to your third finger on the B string. So we have one, two, three, four, going up, going back down. One, two, three, four. The second part to it is one, two, three, four. So forget these notes first and then we'll cover the strumming bit uh, or the picking bit afterwards because um, it does make everything a lot more complex but this is all this hand does. To start off with, one, two, three, four, and then the second part to it, same first two notes, one, 
two, all on the B string. And then first fret on the thinnest E string to open E. One, two, three, four. I will be putting a tab for this on my website. It'll be available in the description below, but try and do it from this first of all. So we have the first one. One, two, three, four. The second one. One, two, three, four. Now it's definitely going to be your picking hand or doing the both together that if you're struggling with this, you might find tricky. But definitely get this sorted first. So after those two, it just goes back to the first one again. So one, two, three, four, and then we just end on our one there. So a demo through all of those, nice and slow. To make it all sound better, make sure you're always putting your fingers at the high side of the fret. So the fret is technically the metal strip down, but whenever you're fretting one single note or any, any note on a guitar, don't put it in the middle of the fret. Make sure you're really hutched up against the metal part, as I covered in my first video that I ever made. Um, but for every one of these, like that third finger, for example, it's a little bit of a stretch to get over there. But when you do, you don't have to press on as hard, and if you're over this side, the string chokes a little bit, so that's a nice little tip for you. But just to demo what's going on to do the whole riff, the left hand's job, or the chord hand's job, is the same. It's the picking hand that starts to skip around the strings a little bit, so we always alternate between that melody and the open third string, the open G. So to begin getting used to this, what I like to do in lesson time is just play this normal lesson for the student. If they can play that, when they end it, do one bar, if I'm in tune. Do one bar. Do one bar alternating the second string and third string. One and two and three and four and. So if we go for this first of all, playing just the single notes, just the demo first of all. And that is the first part that is tabbed on the website. So that's what we want to do. Um, and the numbers do correspond, on the, on the tab, the numbers correspond to the fret numbers, but that's also going to be the same as your finger numbers, because first fret finger is always playing first fret, third finger is always playing that note on the third fret. To play the whole thing, simply always skip between the second string, or whichever string is playing the melody, and the third string. which it has to be said, makes it probably more than twice as difficult to do this, it has to be said. But really get down that first melody first. With that at the end, try and do that along to the song, take a few attempts at it, and then try and add this into it. So let's just have a bit of a picking hand focus now. Picking hand focus for the riff, let me just demo first of all. So you can see I'm playing the normal riff, or the melody. And always 
alternating that between the third string. There are many songs that do this. Uh, Blackbird is a very famous example. And it kind of fills in the gaps. So there's a couple of tricks to this. Um, personally, because I'm very used to using a pick, um, and I'm primarily a lead guitar player and, and an um, a electric guitar player, it has to be said, um, I rest on my thumb side, so I rest this part of my hand, the kind of the ball of my hand, the base of my thumb, on the guitar here, and my whole forearm is leant flat against the guitar here, so all of this is flat against the guitar, and that grounds me, that means that my hands are going to stay where they are, and if that means that my the palm of my hand leans on the thicker strings, that's absolutely great because it's going to mute them. If I accidentally play them, they're not going to be heard. And it gives me a bass to start from when I'm playing either the simpler riff or the alternating one. So you can see the alternation that happens. Um, but that very much happens from the, the grounding and, and uh, an alternating of the wrist. It's a wrist motion. Strumming is very much an arm motion pivoting from the elbow with a, a, a still but kind of loose wrist. Um, picking is all a wrist motion when we're doing single notes like this. It's all from the wrist. Now some people, primarily acoustic guitar players, really like to stick their pinky out and place it here. Now if you choose to do that, that's absolutely fine for this riff, or if you choose to do it with fingerstyle. I don't run a primarily fingerstyle channel, but if you want to have a go with doing this riff with fingerstyle, um, the idea is to assign a finger to a certain string. So we'd assign finger one to string three, two to two, and finally and your third finger is underneath the first string. They all go underneath, so if you pluck them together, it would sound like this, or if I wasn't playing with the other hand at all, it sounds like this. Which you've never done that before. You've got to get used to doing this motion very much so. If you have a look, I'm very much pivoting from the wrist again. I'm not doing this. Again, you could stick your little finger out and do this if you prefer. I prefer this method and this will really help you with your lead guitar playing as well, which is a nice point. And just alternating between middle and first finger is a nice way to first start this. But that's the riff. If I just played the melody, any time I'm playing that first string, it's always the third finger that does it. Try and get both hands in if I can. Scooch over a bit. And then certainly doing the finger style option does give you a chance to do maybe the C root note as well. So um which is what I demoed in the original. That makes it quite a lot more complex. I'll be doing more of this sort of things um, in the coming weeks, but it is a nice one to have a go at. So I'm playing my C chord with my left hand, with my chord hand, and playing the melody on my little finger so I can keep the chord down. When it goes to the F, which it does after the one round of the riff, we move down and play the root note only to the chord, F. And then I like the sound when we go to the F of lifting off my middle finger and alternating first two fingers with the thumb. It kind of mimics the piano part more.
and a quick run through the rest of the song. We have a bridge or a pre-chorus, which goes A minor for two beats, G major for two beats, an F chord. We're going to play an F major seven for this to make it easier on ourselves and to make it kind of all sound nice in the key of C. So here, kind of an F major seven is like a C major, but moving your second and third finger down. In this context, it's nice to have the C root note there as well. So let's move our third finger up by one and our little finger directly underneath it. So we are playing this chord. One, two, third finger on the third fret of the fifth string, the C root note, where it would be on a C chord, and then little finger directly underneath it. When you're picking it, try not to play the thickest E string but you can play all the other five. You can even have your thumb over the top. Just try and make sure that that thinnest E rings out, that you're giving this string plenty of room. Uh, that's only for two beats as well. So one, two, G, four, F, two, G, four. And then the same thing as that again, but you stay on the F. One, two, three, four, and we stay on this F, three, four, for two bars. And then, if you can do that, the chorus is quite straightforward. C for a bar, F for a bar, A minor for a bar, and F for a bar. So there's a demo strumming on the beat. F and point it home, we've still got time. C, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, A minor, two, three, two, F. Strumming hand. For that section, for the chorus, and any strumming sections where you've got a whole bar of any chord in this song, we're going for the Daft Punk strumming pattern, the uh, the one from Get Lucky. Down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. Very common strumming pattern in these sort of tempoed songs. Um, really useful one to get under your belt. Down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. Down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. And remember, if you're saying the down and ups to yourself, make sure you say them in the correct rhythm, because it's the rhythm that is most important, but the action should follow the rhythm as the action stays on that same motion, just going down, down, down all the time, really. So my hand's always going one and two and three but I choose to catch the down or up strokes. Don't down, 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 up, up, down, down. You know, you know, don't do it like that. Make sure you get the rhythm. Down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. And that's your strumming pattern. So thanks for checking out this lesson. Please subscribe if you like what I do and remember the tabs are all available at andyguitar.co.uk along with a lot more strumming help if that's what you feel you need. Hope to see you again. Bye for now.